The Tensei gun is a Dojutsu bomb from the Osatsuki clan and Hyuga clan. So I'm going to unlock the Tensei gun and its abilities to defeat the Ninetales Jinchuriki Naruto. All right. First things first. Wood. All right, done. That was not necessary in the slightest. Make some tools and a boat. All right, we could do with a village. That'd be nice. With wood already acquired, all I had to do was find a village to speedrun to becoming a ninja. Since I wasn't only fighting full KCM Naruto, I also have to fight every nine-tailed beast transformation. But luckily for me, oh my God, look at this village. These are huge now. All right, happy days. We should find so many scrolls there. Not only was it good for jutsus, I could also get my hands on a few essentials such as books and furnaces. Yang release, all right, I'll take that. Okay, when did it go night? Time. Don't mind me, just stealing your bookshelves. You're lucky I'm not a certain clan. Speaking of a certain clan member, in every village there's a small chance the professional home wrecker attach you Chiha can spawn. But the chances are so slim, there's, there's no way he could. Is there a, why, <laughs> why does he look like that? Oh, he's definitely looking at me. Are we cool? What's Sharingan? <laughs> What's this guy's problem? Oh, but he don't matter, rust me. You joke. All right, we're back, and this time with no trees. Fun. This is Honkai Star Rail, a fantasy RPG set in space from the creators of Genshin Impact, Hoyoverse. Available on PC, mobile, and soon to be released on PS5 with shared data between all platforms, with 80 million downloads in less than five months. As a trailblazer, you'll be exploring worlds across the universe, all of which have their own unique styles and sci-fi themes. That'll keep the immersive adventure you'll have with sublime animations and music all the more refreshing. You'll be given a rich, semi-open world to solve puzzles, find treasure, and discover the secrets to this universe. So, of course, not without a massive cast of 20 playable characters, all of which have their own personalities and backstories. But you can't have all this without also having a snazzy combat system. You'll be given an easy-to-learn yet insanely tactical turn-based battle system, giving you the flexibility to switch up your lineups and strategies depending on if you're fighting a certain enemy or a certain character or even the environment. With this also comes even more content, with the version 1.3 release where you'll witness the epilogue to the Hexafleet Shinjo Lawful. With this epilogue also comes a new roguelike mode waiting for players to hone their skills in something truly challenging. As well as a brand new character, Fu Shuen, head of the information processing department of the Shinjo Lawful. She's a young ambitious woman who's also kind of cocky, but despite her condescending personality, she's actually a support character, being able to reduce the overall damage received by all her teammates, and even take damage in place of her teammates. Either way, go check out this game for yourself. It's free to play, and you can find the link to play in my description or in my pinned comment. And if you take this code that's on screen right now, you can actually get a free 50 stellar jade. Itachi has found himself on my hit list next to Naruto. Forget Sasuke, I'd be the one to take Itachi down. But, uh... Look at my inventory compared to before. I'm so upset. Despite having all my progress reset, I was determined to become a stronger ninja. And to do that, I was gonna have to slay mobs. One small thing I forgot, though. I'm not even a ninja yet. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. We need to go mining. And it's already nighttime, so we need to do it quick. To become a ninja, I was gonna need some coal, four iron ingots, and two pieces of string. Oh, there's a child. Oh, I have an idea. Yes. Rice children are so scary. Do that. I do this. Do that. Kunai. Then I do this. Do that. Shuriken. And now we're in ninja. Happy days. Where's that child? Where is he? Back like I never left. Early, I just got here. I just got here. Today is not my day. With three deaths under my belt and a Kuruma Naruto transformation on the horizon, I decided to change strat and start mining for a mob spawner, which is when I came across these mob spawners that spawned one set of mobs and were relatively common to find. Oh my god, this is so good. I might be able to get 300 ninja speed down in the mine. And I did just that. Was it as efficient as a spawner? Not really. But I did get enough cobble for one, and it was enough to get me to 308. Okay, and I think yeah, I got I got quite a bit of cobble. Now, since we have 300 ninja speed, all we had to do was wait a tad until we got given our Kekai Genkai or Dojutsu. Okay, all right. First time, Byakugan. All right, how do we look? We, we look horrible. Okay. What is that? Is that what I think it is? The Byakugan is capable of seeing the chakra of living things. So what I was seeing was actually the immense chakra emanating from the nine tails. So with no time to waste, I ran over towards the source. Okay, the chakra's down here. It's down here. Dude, what happened? Dude, there's like cobble on the desert. What happened here? Okay, I think I see it. <laughs> I see it. It goes into the water. Happy days, I'm good. Domain expect. Well, it's not called that, but it's still. <laughs> is it hurting you at least? No. What do you mean, no? Go. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's oh. It. Take it. Okay, you're, you're starting to hurt me. <laughs> oh, my God. You are rapid. Domain expansion. Wait, does it freeze you? Nah. 
Oh, Axel I thought it froze you. I thought it was, nah. I thought it was cool. <laughs> God damn it. I want you to throw out your biggest damage move. Um, That was my biggest damage move. Was it? Do you want to see my strongest move? Uh, No, it's okay. Okay, that looks pretty strong. I'm you. That was humbling. Losing so badly to Naruto made me realize how embarrassingly weak I was. Especially considering that was Naruto's weakest form. So I was really going to need a way to grind Ninjrix's feet around the clock. I think this will do. So instead of just making one mob farm, I wanted speed and efficiency. So I made not two, but three mob farms. All right, I did it. Three mob spawners. It only took about three hours, but hey ho. They're also not working. Oh, there we are. Some mobs there, some mobs there, and uh, a zombie there. You know what? Better than nothing there. My first goal was to grind up until 2,000 ninja XP to unlock the full capabilities of my Byakugan. I got it! Yes! Finally! Oh my god. Oh my god. I only needed 1,500. I don't even need 2,000. Oh my god. Even though I may have wasted hours of my life getting to 2,000 ninja XP, what it does allow for is enough chakra to use more jutsu. So I decided to go hunting for the naturally spawning chests for a brand new strong jutsu. Found a village, and we've got golem jutsu. What is this? These never let me down. Oh, okay, they never let me down. S rank as well. I got the Sasuke Jutsu. Learn that. Happy days. A thousand. Oh my. I ended up with the B rank Jutsu Earth Golem, B rank Jutsu Black Panther, and S rank Jutsu Kirin. All of which needed a total of 2,200 in Jutsu. But luckily, dude, with this mob farm, it shouldn't take long at all to get our moves, which is amazing. All right, it's done. Let's try it out. Okay, that looks sick. I can hit Sasuke. All right, here goes. Oh, that looks sick. With the S rank Jutsu Kirin fully unlocked, I now had access to the same Jutsu that brought Atachi Chiha to an inch of his life. So I'll do just the same as Sasuke. I expected as much as this, but it's fine. Here we go. Where is he? Oh my God. Okay, I think I'm fine though. Oh, where is he? There he is. I see you. Where is he? I don't see him. He keeps dodging all my attacks. I'm gonna use the move that Sasuke used on you. Kirin, that hits, right? Oh, that definitely hits. What an insanely powerful jutsu. I knew that Kirin was strong, but I've never one shot Atachi before. Though luckily, his death was very useful to me since I had an add-on mate that made the Byakugan drop from Atachi Chiha upon his death. He dropped the Byakugan and I have some drip. Happy days. I look pretty, pretty bad. Horrendous trip aside, we nearly had all the necessary requirements to work towards evolving to the Tenseigen. All we were going to need now is a medical scroll, and to make that, we were going to need six paper, a stick, a kunai, and one lingering potion. I can't make that. Do I smell movie magic? Oh my lord, it's all of a sudden lingering. Right, do you do that? All oh, right, cool, medical scroll. Fair and square. Do that, do that, activate. Tensegun evolution, 86,384 seconds. How long is that? I have to wait 24 hours in game. Oh my god. I'll be back in 24 hours. I decided since I had to wait 24 real life hours while having to be in game, I may as well grind an absolute ton since there's still two more stages of the Kurama transfer I have to fight. Though, on my way back to the mob grinders, I stumbled across the flying thunder god jutsu, which could come in unbelievably useful. Nice to see my farms still aren't working. Yeah, nothing. Oh my lord. One more. Come on. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be you? Oh, it's gonna be you. And done. What am I stupid? How do I use this? To use the flying thunder god jutsu, we were gonna have to make a three prong kunai, which luckily for me was relatively easy to craft. Okay, three iron and two iron nuggets, three prong kunai. After sorting out the kunai, I spent the next few hours making another mob farm, but closer. So all I had to do was just AFK in the middle, which actually two times my ninjutsu XP gain and got me Black Panther in no time. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they've been cooking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, dude, bang on. We did it. Give it a shot. Let's see what it does. Five. That is massive. All right, sick. I think I'm ready. I hit the sheets in real life. And once I woke up, the time until the Tensegan awakened was just four hours to go. Okay, the amount of chakra I'm seeing, Naruto has to be here. Oh, I see him. Okay, that's him. That's him. That's him. Level one, level one. And then this. Go on, block. Okay, okay, okay. I need some friends. Check this out. Ready? My brand new Earth Golem. Call him Dave. Oh, wait, Dave's coming. <laughs> Here he comes. Twilight, he's coming for you. Okay. Oh my God, dude, the floor's getting ripped apart. Oh, you know what? You have to catch me. He's going to kill me, dude. You have to catch me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How did you get <laughs> You 
just a bit. Oh, this is so good. Hang on a minute. What are you doing over there? Time. I need time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you, my God. You are so fast. You look like you're charging something, and I don't like it. I can move and charge something. Do you know I sent a level one your way? I think you deserve a bigger prize. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I have something for you. I got to send a level level 14 your way. 14? Oh, Should my God. What is that? Oh, I'm taking your whole crew Oh, my God. Me. No. <laughs> I'd lost again. Even though I knew I was nowhere near my full strength, it still kind of sucked. But I still had new jutsus and a whole new dojutsu to learn. So we had no time to mope around. Rasengan. Resen Shuriken is now enabled. Wait, that's so sick. I have the Resen Shuriken. How though? I unlocked the Resen Shuriken by mastering the Resen Gun while also being a user of wind release techniques. Meaning I was capable of adding the wind nature release to the Resen Gun. But not without a little grind session, of course. Oh, here we go again, I guess. Oh, my axe broke. Oh, but we just made it. Happy days. Perfect. There he goes. All right. We're done shuriken. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, we have one mob farm. After all the grinding, I decided to take a break. And while on this break... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. We got it. I was AFK. I had no idea. I had to wait like four hours. That's so cool. <laughs> what? You can do one mighty push. Okay. Well, there goes my house. That was... An that wasn't the smartest idea. Well, that's left to do now is fight KCM Naruto. What timing? Tracking Kurama and Naruto's combined truck led me a couple thousand blocks across the Minecraft world. A mere task considering I now have the ability to fly and the power of a gun. Okay, Naruto should be over this hill. And there he is. Oh, look at this guy. Thinking he's all cool, stealing <laughs> my style, huh? Final fight. Go on then. Oh, no, my form. You broke my form. <laughs> One weakness I found out immediately is that just like Naruto in the movie, a well-placed right hook will take me right out of my Tensei gun truck remote. But that doesn't mean I'm not a gun. Well, your eyes look sick, though. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, well, you have to wait for a little bit. I know I don't want to get hit by that. Even without my chakra state, I've still got the ten Sagan. I'm not weak. I don't see you. How are the gold? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not scared. I'm the main character. What am I doing? I'm going in. You just do it again. It. Oh, God. Whoa, I <laughs> forgot it comes back. Using the Tensei Gun's ability to use planetary devastation to give me temporary flight and lock Naruto under a mountain of obsidian was, of course, all part of my plan. It gave me all the time I needed. What should I start with? A localized rebirth plus. Oh, okay. There's more than one. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I got more where that came Hang from. On, I keep running around. Silver wheel. Something rebirth. You blur Silver me wheel. away. Oh, Where my you God. Go? This is slightly annoying. Can you hold something for me? No way you can try and hit me with a Resen Shuriken from there. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god! You dead? Oh my god, wait, thank wait, god. Where did you go? I saw you fly somewhere. My plan works. I know it's pretty early on that despite possessing the power of an Otsutsuki, I'm still fighting the main character. So any move I got hit with very well had the chance to kill me in one shot. So the flying thunder god Jutsu sat on standby, allowing me to teleport out of any incoming move. I've jumped on my form, you know what that means, right? No, don't. Hold it. Oh, Hold it. Man. I'm going to run over to you. Look at you. I see um, you flying. I see you uh, flying. I don't think so, boy. Oh, okay. I was just playing games before. Look how sick this is. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you just shoot my boulder? <laughs> I could just keep doing these all day, mate. <laughs> what is this? I'm getting what closer. Do? Do? Oh, my God. The damage. There's one here. Yeah. The full Kurama transformation is close to impenetrable. Giving Naruto the ultimate defense, I was completely lost on how to combat his new full Kurama trunk remote. On paper, this move I'm about to do should one shot. Dude, this looks so sick. This shot. I hit you. That hit me. You just tanked it. Go away, go away. One, oh. two. You want one more? Oh you got your God. form yet? About my form. After being punched out of my Tensega truck form another time, Naruto pulled out the Naruto classic. Come on, boys. We're going to win. What am I seeing? Oh, my God. <laughs> go, my team. <laughs> my got Dude, they just chip away. They just chip they're away. So the health good. is actually nuts. I can't see anything. <laughs> they're flying so far. But what I knew that Naruto clearly didn't is that when you use the Shadow Clone technique, a clone cannot be made without taking a chunk of your chakra as well as a chunk of your health. Meaning I didn't have to do anywhere near as much damage anymore. It was now or never. You know what? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I haven't got enough chakra for this, but I'm going to do it. Do Here it goes. This needs to nah, kill. I'm fine. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what a pain. 